Hello and welcome to each one of you to this new episode of Online Lessons. Without further ado, let's begin. Today we are going to look at pseudocode part 3, Selection. Uh, and in Selection we are going to look at IF statements. Now, IF statement, in a pseudocode, the IF statement is used for selection. As such, IF statement is used to execute part of the program based on a condition. So, the statement below has been given to you an example. We have the IF condition, then a few pseudocode statement, and IF. We're going to break down this if statement. So first part, the if over here indicate the start of the selection. It is followed by a condition, the condition for which the selection has to be made. After the condition, we have the pseudocode statement that will be executed if the condition is true. And lastly, we have the and if this indicates the end of the selection. So let's uh, us uh, look at an example of making use of the if the single if statement. So example one: write a program using pseudocode that will input a number and output greater if the number is greater than one hundred. So we are going to make use of all our different knowledge from part 1 and part 2. If you have not gone through these two videos, please go through them first before continuing. So the first thing that we're going to do is to input a number. So input number based on previous examples that we have worked on. So it's simply like this, input num. And then we are going to make the selection checking if this number is greater than 100. And how we're going to do that, we're going to make use of the if statement. So if number greater than 100, then we're going to output greater. So if our number is greater than 100, then this value of greater, this output of greater, will be output. So output greater if number is greater than 100. And since we have nothing else to do, we are going to end the selection after output greater. The next part is if else statement. Now in pseudocode, the if else statement is used to execute two distinct parts of the program based on a condition. So here it's the same as uh, an if statement, but we have two parts. The first part is where we'll be executing a program or pseudocode instruction if the condition is true. And if the condition is false, then another part of the program will be executed. An example of an if-else statement has been given to you. We're going to break this down as follows. So again, we'll be having an if to indicate the start of the selection, a condition for which the selection has to be made. And then we'll be having the pseudocode statement that will be executed if the condition is true. And pseudocode statement that will be executed if the condition is false after the else part. And lastly, we're going to have the and if, which indicates the end of the selection. Looking down to an example of the if-else statement, example 2, write a program using pseudocode that will input a number and output greater if the number is greater than 100, less otherwise. So here what we're going to do, we are going to output greater if our greater is, if our, sorry, if our number is greater than 100 and less if our, if ever our number is less than 100. So it's broken down into three parts again, so we'll be having input number, input number, same as before. Uh, the if a statement will remain the same, if number is greater than 100, then if number is greater than 100, we're going to output a greater, less otherwise, so if the number is not greater than 100, 
we are going to output less, so this is going to be done with the else, else part, output less. And we're going to end our if statement using the and if. Last part of the if statements, we have the if else if else statement. Now in Sudoku, the if else if else statement is used when there is a need for multiple condition for selection in a program. So when we have multiple use of uh, conditions, multiple selection, then we make use of the if else if else statement. So we're going to break it down again as before. So we ha already have an example of an if else if else statement. First part again, start of the selection, a condition, first condition for which the selection has to be made, statement, program statement that will be executed if condition 1 is true. If the condition 1 is true, then it's this part that we is going to be executed. We have the else is part with condition 2, second condition for which the selection has to be made. And this will be executed if condition 1 is false and condition 2 is true. And we have a last part, the else, last part. This will be executed if condition 1 is false and condition 2 is false. And lastly, we'll be having an and if to indicate the end of the selection. Note, else if statement can be used as much as required without any restriction. So we can make use of else if as much as needed. It can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... As much as needed in the program, we can continue to make use of else if statement. And second part, the else part in the if else if else statement may not be required in certain situation. It may happen that we don't need this else part because all the different situation that can arise in the program has already been catered in the if else if part. So an example of the if else if else statement. So example three, write a program using Sudoku to input a number. Output greater if the number is greater than 100. Output less if the number is less than zero. And output valid otherwise. So same as before, we are going to input our number. So input num. Uh, we are going to check if our number is greater than zero. So we are going to make use of an if statement, checking if our number if num greater than 100, then if it's greater than 100, we are going to output greater. Same as the example 2 we did before. Now here is where it's going to change. Uh, we have another condition which requires our program to check whether the number is less than 0. If it's less than we should be outputting less. So this condition is inserted next, which will be else if num less than zero. If the number is less than zero, we are going to output less. And if it's not greater than 100 and not less than zero, we're going to output valid. So else output valid. And we're going to end our if statement using the and if statement. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. Leave a comment in the uh, leave a comment below and click on the thumbs up. Until then, see you next time.